Hey everyone, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. I have not worn Morocco on my eyes in a minute from the Anastasia Shadow Couture palette. I haven't worn this color for a while. I've been smashing my Tardis Pro palette. I love it so much. But it feels kind of fresh to have this color back on my eyes. So loving that. Choker life. I know. Someone's like, really? The chokers again? My husband, who now I have made the whole of my social media following hate, because I only tell you the mean things he says to me, he is totally joshing around like, I'm sure a lot of you out there, your partner or your boyfriend or girlfriend, like you play and you banter each other. He does that a lot with me, tries to cut me down, but girl, he doesn't like these. So we don't wear them around him. That's okay. I think I told you, he told me that, isn't that what prostitutes wear? I'm giving him a really good rap on YouTube lately. Today I am here with a review. This review is dedicated to the subby that requested it. If you're out there, you know who you are. I couldn't find the comment on the request, but one of my subbies requested a review on this backpack. And it is also dedicated to Hero, who totally told me to get back into doing reviews and to review my items, so I really appreciate that. So, today's review is in this drawstring bag. It is from Louis Vuitton, and it is the Palm Springs backpack in the PM size in the all over classic monogram canvas. This backpack is the, I guess you would say, medium size in the line of Palm Springs backpacks. You have the mini, which I did unbox and purchase in the reverse. I obviously changed my mind and went back. You may have watched that vlog and I did finally decide on this size, which is the PM, uh, which stands for petite. And then there is the MM, which is the largest in the line, which is the big, bigger size backpack. So holding up nice and close, you can see it is in the classic monogram print in monogram canvas. It is constructed of five individual pieces of monogram canvas. You have the front portion, you have the piping over the pocket, you have the pockets portion, then you have the entire top portion which you can see is an all over piece. And then you have the back portion, which is actually quilted. So it's puffy, super, super comfortable there on the back. And that goes all the way to the bottom. So you can see all the quilting stitching running down the back there. Contrast leather is in calf skin, the black calf skin contrast leather, which is super, super supple. If it looks supple, and it looks really soft to touch, that's because it is. I know a lot of people say that these back straps, especially on the PM, aren't particularly to scale. Like they look a little bit, you know, alien-like to be on a bag this size. They're better suited to an MM. I did originally agree, once you load up this backpack, it's far more, uh, yeah, it just sits better on the body once it's loaded. They're a little bit flatter. But nevertheless, back to the actual lambskin, it is so beautiful and soft. These straps, yes, they are puffy, but they're really comfortable when they are on the back and once obviously the backpack is loaded up. I've had questions if you can attach a strap to the top. These straps are permanent, unlike the mini that have D rings on the top and on the bottom to connect their straps. Uh, these are permanent, so no, these are sewn in at the top, uh, completely sewn into the bag. And on the bottom portion, you have a thinner piece of calf leather connecting permanently to the bag as well. There's no D-ring connecting it on, but these are a thinner sort of calf, similar to the mini, how the mini is all thin straps like so. So it breaks off and then becomes the puffier, uh, strap a quarter of the way up. The reason it does that is to allow for the 10 holes to adjust to suit your preference on your back. I have mine uh, set on the last hole uh, just so it is lower, it sits a bit lower on me. That's how I prefer it to sit. Of how you can maneuver these uh, holes to adjust it to your 
height is by one draw pin which has Louis Vuitton engraved around it and you just push it through the threaded uh, slit as you can see here. Uh, some people say it's kind of difficult to do. In my opinion it's kind of less fussy than a buckle so that it doesn't really move. It stays there pretty permanent and I think I've gotten used to this because this is the same sort of mechanism that's on my Chanel Le Boy bag. At the end of this back strap you have two little keepers here that are permanent. One on the permanent shorter side and then one attached on this side. Here is the handle. This is super handy. Handy handle. Uh, but this is super handy to then have the backpack just carried like I guess you would say a purse or a bag. That's what people are always telling me about this size, this kind of medium size isn't necessarily only a backpack, whereas the MM is just a lot more cumbersome, it's definitely a backpack. So to grab this handle is really, I just think it's super convenient. I have obviously attached my small luggage tag in the matching black calfskin leather, which I've just recently got hot stamped with my son's initials on there. I love the contrast of the silver with the gold. I think it's really festive and it just looks so gorgeous on the bag. Okay, so here is its hardware. It is beautiful, shiny, golden hardware. I have heard comments before that people aren't necessarily a fan of the zipper pulls, that they may seem a bit flimsy. I am in love with this hardware. I think it is just gorgeous. It almost acts like a little bag charm and they just swing around on your back like so and they're just, it's very pretty. It makes the bag very dainty and pretty. I've just tilted the camera down here nice and nice and close and on my lap so that I can show you guys up close just how it is to open and close this bag because this is probably the number one thing I get asked is, you know, we've heard that the zipper is so stiff and so hard to maneuver on this bag. And that is, the answer to that is because they have created this lip. They have created this complete lip that runs all the way around. If I fold it out like so. They've created this lip obviously to hide the zipper. So if it wasn't there the zipper would be showing like so. So obviously, just to make it a little prettier, they have put this lip. However, that does make the movability, that's such a hard word, of the zippers quite difficult and not as, I guess you'd say, smooth as some people would think. Yes, you can rub uh, baking paper on the zipper and a bit of wax to kind of start to get it to sort of, you know, glide a little bit better. But it's not as if you're always going to have success because this lip rubs. It's not the actual zipper. Obviously, it's a Vuitton zipper, so it's very well made. When I'm using the bag, the way I kind of combat that is I will usually take one zipper and leave that down here and only move one zipper around. So I will just kind of keep one and I'll just move it from one side to the other, holding one, <laughs> yeah, like it seems difficult, but holding one side down and pulling with the other side. Apparently this PM size is the main size that's a little bit difficult and fussy to zip and unzip on the zipper. The mini is apparently a lot better and then obviously the MM gets better because it gets bigger. Um, that's completely up to you. Some people it doesn't phase at all. I did think of getting the um, extender so that not only would it look cool like a feature, it would help to maybe move it around. I thought of putting, you know, a charm there, but either way, look, you get the zipper open and closed and that's fine. And it's not as if it's a really, really big deal. You just have to keep that in mind when you're shopping for the backpack. So anyway, once it is open, it is basically, just take the stuffing out, it is basically one large compartment with the uh, polyamide lining, which is like that wipeable kind of canvas lining. It's one large compartment down inside. I would say this holds a little less, a little bit less than my uh, Speedy B25. Uh, I wouldn't pack as much as I can get in that bag, in this bag. Uh, it does hold big items, which I will go ahead and show you, but 
I won't kind of be able to get as much as I get in the speedy. I just know that. It has one slip compartment down the back here and it's actually quite spacious as it goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. And it's nice that it's a slip. I think if it had a zipper on the top as well, that would just become extra fussy on top. You'd be fussing to get that open as well, but it's just a slip. On the front of that slip pocket, there is the made in stamp. There that reads Louis Vuitton Paris made in France, and that's in the black calfskin leather as well. I think the contrast is just beautiful. I have said that before in videos. I love it. It is like the Macassar line, which I think is just beautiful from the men's line. I will go ahead and show you what fits in it. Let me just finish the details on the out the outside while we're down here. It has two tabs on either side of the front little pocket uh, in the black calf skin and this is to hold while you undo the zipper so there is its zipper you hold this tab and you pull against it you hold this tab and pull against it to shut it it is the same configuration of a lip covering the zipper. On this pocket, it's a bit better to show you. If the lip wasn't there, that's what it would look like. It would have a zipper showing. And I think that they obviously thought through that it would be prettier to conceal the zipper. The way I get into this little pocket, which it is quite small, is obviously we go ahead and open it. Using these tabs for what they're there for is really handy. I said in a video once that I realized that this black calfskin leather tab on the front of this pocket, which does say Louis Vuitton Paris stamped in it, is all nice and well to have the stamping on it, but it is useful. It is used to pull the pocket out to get the items in which you want inside of it. You pull the tab to get those items out, obviously, and then release. And that is what it's meant for. Down, down here at the bottom, another piece of calf leather is a loop on the bottom. This is apparently for hanging a scarf or hanging a shawl or hanging uh, anything like that's a cover up or anything. It's apparently meant to be able to hang that off the back. But I think it's a cool little feature just to have it there like a little tag anyway. I think it's kind of cool. While we are down here. I will just go ahead and show you. Here is my Speedy B uh, 25. And I'm just going to get some of the items out to show you packing this backpack. I have done this before in a video, but what the heck, we would do it again in this review. This is my car key. I usually, when I'm using this backpack, always keep it in the front pocket here so that I can just pull it out and that's where I know it is. Always keep it in there. In the main body compartment, I'm just going to go ahead and load up exactly what is inside this bag. Here is my PM agenda. Here is my notebook. This is what I have had in here. Here are my sunglasses from Celine. Here is my uh, toiletry 19. I will show you that this does actually fit in this backpack nicely. There it is there, if you can see all of that. Here's my iPhone 7 Plus. We can slip that down the front as well. Here's my mini pochette from Louis Vuitton. We will slide that down the back. And anything else on top here is my clay with my keys it is getting jam-packed now see that this would all fit very happily in a speedy 25 no problem and it is really getting quite heavy and jam-packed here in the pm palm springs backpack but nevertheless it does up fine like so it's definitely got weight to it but that's a good thing because then when it's on your back it sits really nicely and you can just sort of throw it on like that and it's just got a little bit of weight to it and it pulls those straps right down so i think it's super durable i think it is a great mummy bag i think this size is good in the sense that you can take everything that you need for your baby or your kids and yourself in what is a cool kind of backpack way you could take it to the zoo or disneyland or those sort of occasions where you need hands free but at the same time you know you still got a little bit of lux on you obviously i've got heaps in here including my toiletry 19 a notebook mini pochette 
like super stuffed I don't I wouldn't necessarily need all these things but that's good to know that I can if Mussy's with me to get questions if I'm a uni student should I invest in this size I still think you can obviously a4 size binders aren't going to fit in this bag a never full or the mm size would probably be better for you like that uh, but I still think you can if you are petite this basically is like a mm on you and then an mm is probably giant questions that is it unisex yes totally this is basically the Mikasa line and the Mikasa line is for guys with the black and the monogram which I just think is the most amazing line I've said it before if they did that in a speedy it would just be so cool it would just sell out that was it guys that brings me to the end of my review on this fabulous backpack again it is fabulous I think it is a gorgeous little backpack I have been tossing around the idea of maybe parting with it I know you may have seen in the last vlog that I did featuring this bag that I do get comments in my life that it's not really suited to my frame and necessarily how tall I am and it kind of looks like a kid's backpack. Yes, uh, I half half agree, It does. the comments do kind of turn me off using it, however I do do my own, I, you know, everyone's like do you boo, you always say that, it's true. I do like it still and I find it really convenient especially when I have mussy. However, I may be <laughs> maybe looking at doing a vlog sale. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that just yet. Um, I'm still holding on to it a little bit longer just to see how I feel. Uh, but nevertheless, my review and my thoughts on this bag are all valid. This is how I feel about it. This is my review on it. This is the pros and the cons. And I still think it is you know a cute little item that Vuitton came up with I think it's a great you know little collection if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so that would be really great guys I will see you in my next video take care peace